I'm Josh from the Fire Pit and GrillingGuru.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use a charcoal chimney, which is my personal favorite way to start charcoal. Uh, the nice things about it are that, first of all, you don't have to use any lighter fluid, which I hate to use pouring chemicals, kerosene, or whatever else is in there on top of your coals. Sure, most of it burns off, but it does leave an odor in the air, and, and I, I just don't like using it. It also is slower. To, when you, if you've noticed, it can take 20, 30 minutes or, or more to get all of your coals ready and, and ready to cook. Charcoal chimney is basically, acts like a chimney. It draws oxygen, air up through the coals that are starting to burn, and it accelerates the burning process. So it helps to get your charcoal started very early. You don't have to use any, uh, any lighter fluid or any other fuel other than some newspaper or other fuel to burn in the bottom to get your fire started. <coughs> now, uh, I'm going to show you how, how to use it. There, there are several different models of these. It's basically a can with holes in it. It's got a little shelf of, of metal in the bottom that separates the bottom compartment from the top compartment. Um, these are two different models. This is the Weber one, which I like because it has a large capacity and filled up close to the top is plenty cold for even very hot, high temperature cooking in a large uh, Weber kettle grill such as this. Um, there are other models like this that are a bit smaller uh, but are perfectly adequate for most things uh, and particularly for smaller grills or if you don't need as much coal. <coughs> so all you're basically going to need is a chimney. You're going to need some newspaper and I usually use just the old uh, advertisements that you get in the mail that you usually throw out or put in the recycling. Um, those are fine. Any type of paper that will burn easily with a match uh, or a lighter is perfect. Long matches can help to get it started, although you can do it very safely with a regular match. Uh, and I'll also show you that it's helpful to have uh, a little bit of cooking oil uh, to help to add to the paper to help it burn a little bit faster and get your fire going a little bit quicker. Now to start, before you put any charcoal in the chimney, you're going to put your fuel source, which as I said is usually newspaper, in the bottom. And all you really need to do is take a few large uh, sheets of newspaper, uh, two or three large sheets, these are a little bit smaller, so I can use three or four, and just wad them up, separate them and then wad them up. You don't want them too tightly packed together or else they don't get oxygen to them and they won't burn very well. You want to wad them up and then separate them a little bit and you're going to put them in the bottom part of the charcoal chimney. Now a couple of tips at this point that sometimes people uh, make mistakes with. First of all make sure that the, that the vent on the bottom side of the grill is all the way open. Again, you want airflow coming up through the chimney to help light your fire. Without airflow, you're going to have trouble getting the, the coals lit quickly. <clears throat> so make sure your vents are open, and if you're having trouble getting your coals started, that may be the problem that sometimes people overlook. Another tip is that a lot of people find that, that sometimes with a couple of pieces of paper, the paper burns out and the coal hasn't really gotten adequately uh, lit yet. Um, and it helps to add a little bit of cooking oil sometimes uh, to the paper. And I usually, once it's wadded up, just drizzle a couple teaspoons or a tablespoon worth of any kind of cooking oil on the paper, let it soak in, and then put it in there. That is going to burn a little bit hotter and a little bit longer, so it'll, it'll keep the heat up in here uh, long enough to get the charcoal lit. <clears throat> now another tip that people overlook sometimes is to separate the paper a bit so that there is a hole or passageway through the middle of it. The reason for that is although there are holes on the sides of the, of the chimney, a lot of the airflow is going to come up through the bottom. And if you have some space, make kind of a donut shape at, at the bottom, that leaves room for oxygen to get pulled up as it heats up to get oxygen pulled up through the, the chimney and really add to your fire and help the charcoal get ignited quickly. Once you have that set up, you can, you can start to fill your chimney with charcoal. You can use any kind of charcoal. This is lump hardwood charcoal. 
um, that, that I'm pouring from this other chimney in. But you can use briquettes as well if that's what you prefer. And how much charcoal you fill up is obviously up to you and, and the size of your grill and, and what type of grilling you're going to be doing. Uh, but generally I, I fill it up to within a couple of inches or an inch or two of the top of the, of the uh, chimney. That's usually plenty of charcoal for even a large kettle grill such as this. Um, you don't want to heap it up piling out over the top. You just want it basically up to the within an inch or two of the top of the chimney. And now you're ready to light it, which we'll do next. Now, to start your chimney, it's as simple as taking a match or a lighter. Uh, it's, it's helpful to have a long handled, long matches or a long handled lighter, uh, but it's not 100% necessary. Uh, it's very easy to do without. Uh, and you're basically going to either through these small holes at the bottom of the chimney or just holding the match or lighter underneath the bottom, you're going to light the paper in the bottom. And that's all you have to do. You just have to get the newspaper burning so that all of it will burn uh, completely. Uh, you're not trying to, to get the charcoal lit with your match or with the lighter. You just need to get the paper lit. Now, uh, if you are using long matches, you can stick them through the, it, once it's lit, through the hole to light the paper at several points around uh, it's the circumference. If you're using smaller matches, I find it easiest just to tilt up the chimney and then to light from below. Now you want to light it in several points just to make sure that the paper is lit completely and will burn completely. So I'm going to start it now. Uh, so there's my match and again <coughs> you can either tilt it up and hold the match underneath and get the, the paper lit in a few different spots or if you prefer you can just leave it be and, and put it through the holes at the bottom and get the paper going. And once you're confident that the paper is burning nicely all the way around uh, you can just put your, your match out in the chimney that'll burn up in a minute. And as you can see initially as the paper burns you're going to have a lot of fire a lot of smoke coming out of the top of the chimney. So you want this away from uh, where that's going to bother people. <coughs> but the paper will burn for a minute or two and you'll have a lot of smoke. But then once the paper is completely burnt, that smoke will dissipate. And that doesn't mean that your charcoal isn't burning. Uh, it, it just means that the paper has burned up. And you can see already it's starting to clear a bit. Uh, and we'll come back in a minute to see, to see the progress. Now, once the chimney has been lit for a while and the paper has burned off, as you can see, there's very little smoke coming out of the top of the chimney uh, because the paper is all burnt up. And if you, if you lift it over, you can see that it's just ash in the bottom now. However, some people panic at this point and they don't know if, if it's working or not, if the chimney is still burning, uh, if the charcoal is adequately lit. Usually, if you've put enough paper, and, and especially if you put a little bit of oil on the paper, you'll be fine and it is lit. You just have to wait a little bit. <clears throat> but a couple of things to look for. First of all, you can see there's a little bit of smoke. That depends on the type of charcoal and, and so on. Uh, but also, if you listen closely, and I don't know if you can hear it on the video, but there's sort of the crackling noises of, of the wood starting to burn. I don't know if you can hear that. <clears throat> That's also a good indication that at the bottom of the pile, the, the coals are burning and starting to ignite. Another thing you can do is look through these lower holes in the side of the chimney and you can usually see a little bit of red glow down at the bottom uh, where it's starting to burn. And at that point, now you know you're ready to go. You're, you're, you just have to give it a little more time. It's going to light itself. Even though there's only a little bit lit at the start down below, very quickly because of the, the draw of the oxygen through the chimney and because of its design, the, the coal on top will start to ignite very quickly. And this can vary uh, in how long it takes, but I find in about 10 minutes usually you've got a pretty good pile of very hot coals. Uh, if you really want to make sure that all of them are, are really all ignited and, and ash, starting to ash over uh, 15 minutes, um, but it's really quite quick that you get your coals ready to go. 
Just a couple of minutes have passed and, and you can start to see that there's a lot more crackling, the, the coals are starting to get lit. And as I'm looking down in the top here, I can start to see some flames lipping up around the edges of the coals at the top. So we're getting close. Now, there is some disagreement about when the ideal time is to dump out your charcoal. Certainly this is too early. Uh, but what's important to remember is that your coals will continue to ignite and burn once you pour them in, as long as the coals that are not lit yet are in contact with coals that are lit. So, for example, if you have a pile of hot coals in your grill and you want to add coal to it, you just put them on top and those will can start to burn very quickly. <clears throat> so even if you dumped it at this point, you'd probably be fine. You wouldn't have maximum temperature that you could reach, but but you'd be okay. But most people would agree that you want to get it so that at least the top layer is starting to burn and is at least partially ignited. Um, you, I can see now more flame starting to come out the top and I can also see some edges of the, the coal starting to turn white and ash over. So we're getting very close and this is happening very quickly. You can, I can see just in the last minute a big change in, in uh, the heat coming off of this and the, the amount of coals that are glowing red down below and, and, the, uh, and the, the flames that are coming out the top. You can see now in the top that there's a dense layer of very hot red coals down below and flames starting to come out the top. This is getting very close to being ready to dump our charcoal. Now that there are a lot of flames coming out of the top and the top most coals are starting to, to be obviously ignited and starting to ash over, this would be a good time to dump the coals. Some people will argue you want to wait until all the coals are completely ashed over, particularly if they're briquettes, because briquettes can have some binders and things you, that have odd aromas as they burn that you want to start to burn off. With lump charcoal like this, I think at this stage it's fine. If you wait too much longer, the, the charcoal is burning so intensely down inside the, the chimney that you're using up charcoal very quickly. It's burning very quickly. So at this stage, I think is a good place to, to dump it. Now to dump it, you want to grab the handles carefully. These can get warm, even though they're extended away from the, the chimney itself. They can get quite warm or hot in some circumstances, so you may want to use uh, a kitchen uh, mitt or, or uh, uh, oven mitt or gloves. Um, but usually you can grab it um, and simply turn it over and dump out your charcoal. Make sure they get it all out so that you don't, and then put your chimney off to the side somewhere that is not flammable so that it won't burn anything or anybody. And now as you can see, your coals are nice and hot and red. And basic, except for a couple that are still getting ignited, they're basically all ignited and ready to cook. And that is basically how you use a charcoal chimney. You're now ready to spread out your coals in whichever uh, way you want for direct heat or indirect heat and put on your, uh, your grilling grate on top and start cooking your food.